competition in the EV space is heating up as Ford unveiled uh, their new electric Ford F-150. President Joe Biden was out there whipping around in it, saying that he liked what he saw when he was driving it around. And now we're learning more about the price tag, with prices starting around $40,000. Of course, it goes up the more you add in to the electric F-150 package. For more on that, I want to bring on Yahoo Finance's Pro Sumeranian, who has more details on how this car, should I say truck, stacks up to the competition. And Pro's, you're the car guy. I mean, what grade are you giving it? You know, we saw Biden give it a thumbs up yesterday, and, and I think that I'm giving it a two thumbs up. I mean, it's really a, a watershed moment for Ford and the auto industry. If you think about it, you know, this is Ford's most important franchise, and they really kind of knocked it out of the park, in my opinion. You mentioned that crazy starting price of the base model, 39000 Now, we don't know that much about that, but, you know, based on what we're hearing, you know, uh, starting uh, horsepower on 426 up to 563 with the extended range battery, that extended range battery gets you up to 300 miles of range. You know, customers are excited also about these onboard power options, right? The ability to power a job site, your home is plugging into the car. You know, in fact, we earlier spoke to Ford CEO Jim Farley about how excited those customers are, in fact, in terms of initial interest. Take a listen. We have 20,000 orders this morning, 12, 12 hours out after launching. You know, what I found about full-size truck customers, you know, when we went aluminum, they love saving 500 pounds. They have titanium fishing rods. They have multiple computers inside the vehicle. They're running their business inside. These truck customers are the most advanced, some of the most advanced technology uh, people. We put a 15 and a half inch screen in this vehicle because of it. We have over there updates. We, they love all that technology. They love new technology. It's just, it's just a pickup truck shape kind of looks like it's, you know, looked for a long time. So, you know, Probably talking about some strong interests there, but I gotta, I gotta ask you: Is Ford really going to be able to convince those old school pickup truck customers that they need an electric pickup? You know, I think that's still a hard sell, but this is a great first step and maybe the beginning, the beginning of mass adoption. Yeah, that's that's the biggest one to me too, Pros, because maybe it is incremental. We talk so much about cannibalization, but but I think. You know, it wouldn't be too far of a stretch to say that the demo for an electric Ford F-150 might be different than the original demo there. But uh, I guess we'll see how that plays out. Nonetheless, it's a good starting point. But when you stack it up price-wise, that's another differentiator here. Uh, I'm not sure if it uh, excludes maybe people who could afford one over the other. But when you stack it up against, what, the Hummer going to be more than six figures in terms of GM starting price there? How does it maybe compare when we start to look at price, given the way that Tesla has shifted more towards kind of that mainstream uh, consumer with the Model 3. And this price is the most compelling thing, right? Because we talk about, you mentioned that Hummer, $100,000 plus. You know, the Rivian also is going to be at that upper tier um, premium adventure pickup, right? The urban cowboy kind of uh, product, right? Whereas the Ford F-150 is kind of, is, is going is going below that. It's, it's undercutting the competition in price. It's going for a mass adoption, like a mass consumer, which is very different than what we're seeing in the other uh, competitors. Tesla Cybertruck, now actually, you can actually supposedly the base Cybertruck will be around $50,000. So that does come, that goes stack up to the XLT Lightning trim, which is like kind of be the base consumer, like the one that most consumers will get. So, you know, I think Cybertruck and F 150 are the most, you know, um, they're the it's natural rival, but the F 150 is just looking at like a more, you know, uh, a mainstream option, whereas the Cybertruck is just so out there, right? Like we talk about, like, you know, is, is Elon going to add a, a power generator to, to, that, to that truck like Ford has? And we're joking around earlier, but maybe you can mine Bitcoin in the back. <laughs> yeah. And one, one, I don't know if you can wear Wrangler jeans and get in, but who knows? We'll see how they, they try and market these things to different audiences. But Praz, appreciate you hopping on here to chat that. Be well.